Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Leo weekly money and career reading from August 28th to September 3rd, 2023. Leos, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have in this upcoming week. Leo weekly money and career, August 28th. To September 3rd, 2023, money and career for the sign of Leos. Leos, thank you. Thank you to each and every one for watching, sharing your energies, commenting, sharing your journeys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Leos. Let me know what type of reading. I, I think I might want to do a monthly or a three-month projection, September, October, November, or end of year. Uh, let me know if you're interested in that. Comment down below. Here we go. Five of Cups, Ten of Cups, The Magician, beautiful. Um, time to move on, Leo. Time to start it. Time to, you know, develop that that idea or to try to tr time, sorry, to move on from that disappointing situation or that job that didn't fit or that conversation you had or that person, that boss or whatever, whatever it is, the five of cups. It, it, it feels like you you're prepared to move on. You have everything you need to move on with the magician. Um, and you have this 10 of cups. So for you, what is most important is to move into that happiness, to move into that, that energy you so want to make happen, right? And so now is the perfect timing to move forward on that idea in your quest to manifest that goal. So establish that clear vision of what you want to create, that why, that where, that, you know, before you act upon it and, um, and m motivate yourself to push forward. Um, and again, but not about ego, right? Not about ego or or status or fame or you know when we look look upon uh, social media you're not doing this for your profile or your or your status within social media or something like that this is a move you're making to develop your creativity to develop you know to gain more experience in your job more experience in your field whatever that is and it feels like you have a soul connection to this idea. You have a soul connection to your, uh, I want to say like-minded people. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, and so maybe you're connected to a certain community. Maybe you're connected to that new company or that new group of people you want to work with or, you know, or, a, or a team. And it's, it's almost that, that is your goal. So focus on that goal and your intentions and um, you're powerful. You're creative. This is a creative energy, Leos. This is your opportunity to bring your higher self in alignment with your day-to-day -day routine, your day-to-day -day actions to create, to create your future, to create that idea you want the most, to create that job, to create that business, to create to push your talent out there, whatever that talent is. It's going to be different for everyone. But when you're clear about what you want, the what, the why, the where, right? That magician calls upon you to take inspired action. So push forward, push forward. Don't let this deception uh, fool you or block you or doubt or make you doubt yourself push forward, take that inspired action, focus on that goal, be methodical and just plan out, carry out um, Leo's. Yes, seven of, seven of wands. So you're protecting your idea or you're protecting your space. 
It's almost like after that deception or at that or after that discussion or that past job or or that past situation, whatever it is you were working on, you're you're very protective of this next career step. High Priestess, it, you know, that sign of that awareness, realizing the power of your intuition, realizing your powers. And, and you are seeking new ways to develop your career and develop more skills, allowing more skills to come in, allowing connections of other people that have more experience to come in learning learning new and and it feels like you want to learn more try d d careful not to to do all things at the same time right focus on what is essential for you allow this knowledge to flow at its own pace yep all new for you so whatever this five of cups is or was, right? It can be someone within your job that disappointed you or just a situation or you thought it would be better or you thought that person would react better or would be, you know, that that um, project or idea you worked on would, you know, th there's just deception, disappointment, not the end of the world, but disappointment to the point to change everything for you and to change your point of view with the with the tower, right? You realize to the point where you realize that, okay, enough is enough. I'm moving towards my magician, right? I now have it. I have that energy. I have that knowledge. Everything I worked for, that past situation, that has made me move on and want and desire but also have the awareness of my power and the knowledge I have and now I can move forward this um, I almost want to say that this five of cups seems a little unexpected no 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 taking that back sorry the five of cups is not unexpected that is something that bothers you or that you have in the back of your mind or even that just happened right you didn't expect it to happen not the end of the world right but the unexpected is for you to shift and to decide to take that other job or that other road or that other path or finally decide to develop this idea you've had to start your business or to get into that company and do that job or get that job, whatever it is, right? And so you're rebuilding your structure. You're rebuilding and focusing on something completely different. This is the moment where you're, you realize that you're now in tune with your inner guidance system, you're in tune with what, with who you really are. It's the moment of reckoning, right? Like almost, this is a moment of revelation, and it's been a while. Maybe this is the opportunity to break free, finally, of, you know, the old ways and and the old ways of thinking that have maybe held you back. And yes, seven of wands. And that's why you're still a little bit on the fence. But this thing, and I feel like this five of cups, this disappointment, whatever it is, it even if it, it's almost like it has happened a while ago, but it's taking you a while. It has affected you and it's been brewing in your mind for a while like it could be just someone you didn't get along with or that project that didn't pan out the way you wanted to or those people in that team you know you didn't connect with or just that that job that was disappointing right it can be that um and that you have sort of dragged on for a while that has prevented you to do your own thing or you know to to go to that space that you have been wanting to go to and reinvent your career or at least take a new shift in your career that's here it's really that that spark that you know all of a sudden this is it 
you're doing things differently. And this is a transformation for you, um, Leo. I like that. And you have the judgment. Yes. So King of Wands. Yes. Um, there you are, Leo. Inventive, creative, bold. And I feel like this is something that all of a sudden woke you up with this um this king of this king of wands it woke up your not your ego i don't like to say ego but it woke you up in a way like hey wait a second you know i've been trying to reinvent the wheel with all these jobs or these companies or these people um you know to get that perfect job or that perfect energy flowing within a team or a, a situation while all that time i could have done it myself so here you are now with the king of wands creating your own path so maybe you're you're becoming your own boss Maybe you're starting your own business. You have a whole new energy here. It's a new type of experience. And you're confident. You're, you're motivated. This is boosting your confidence. So this deception, this change is really boosting your confidence. And now it's almost like now you're free to think your own thing. No one's going to be your boss or something like that. It's the energy to do what you want taking control of your life and you're daring you're daring to be different and you don't really care what people think anymore this is you this is you reinventing your career and it doesn't mean you're doing something completely different although it can but it, it's you now in control of your own job of your own career you want to be comfortable it doesn't mean you have to be the boss, but you want to be in control of your choices and in control of your um, your decisions and what you want to work on. That's the way it feels. So if you're working in a job or in a company, you want to be in a position where you're a decision maker or you're leading a team or you know you can call the shots or you you know you have responsibility in the ways people are you know the ways things are pushing forward and with the judgment yes this is moving in a different direction but it's a big shift and i think that almost like you didn't expect it to be a big shift and this disappointment is making a big shift with the magician and the judgment and the tower this is a big change this is a solid change and this is you this is sort of materializing right you're you're moving or you're in moving sectors, moving jobs, moving cities. And I think you, you can even be relocating your family. If you, you know, if the, whatever family is for you. Um, yeah, you're sorting things out. It's becoming big. Yes. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, five major arcana. And you with this King of Wands, you're bold, boldly recreating your career or, your vision of your career and now it's materializing now it's becoming reality your vision is becoming reality by fault of whoever spoke to you the wrong way or didn't let you express your creativity or didn't invite you to the table the way you want it to be something like that that had that little thing deception has snowballed in your mind into a, a true resurrection here with the judgment. Um, you want people to see you. You want people to understand you. And you are not going to take any nonsense from anybody else. Here you are with the emperor. Can be an Aries, but this is you in control. To the point, a little bit of stubbornness with the um, with the emperor. Like this time around, you're not going to let anybody shift you around or tell you, you know, that you can or cannot do something, or that you know um, you're not the one calling the shots. No, 
you're the one that's going to um, make things happen. It's solid. Whatever projects are pushing forward, they're solid. Whatever situation is pushing forward, it's constructive and made with success. Beautiful. New knowledge, new people, new success. And two of pentacles with the seven of wands, you need to protect your space, but you also have to clean out your space. Clean out all the negative energy. That can be also really... Um, uh, pragmatic, you know, clearing out space because you're leaving a certain position in a job and you have to clear out your space, right? But you're really, really organizing yourself and prioritizing now that you're starting this new direction job business. And comment down below, Leo, let me know what this is all about. All right, let's see if we have a few more cards in the second deck. Messages, Leo. Weekly Money and Career, August 28th to September 3rd, 2023. And there we have the Ace. Beautiful. Ace of Wands. Love it. It's a whole new ball game for you, Leo. This is a whole new um, energy, um, of creativity, of passion. It feels like this is a passion you're developing. It feels like, again, that disappointment has triggered you to the point where now you're going forward in your passion and you're not taking, you know, you're, you're, this is it. This is your time to shine. This is your time to do that thing that you've always wanted to do. That's the way it feels. The, the energies are fantastic and coming from a negative space, we create even better. We're bolder. Uh, because we don't hesitate anymore. Yes, there you go. There is that that dream job or that thing you have been wanting to create that has been in the back of your mind for a while. Nine of Cups. There it is. There's your passion. You want to push forward that thing. Um, you know, maybe it's a product, maybe it's your, uh, your talent, maybe it's lyrics, songs, maybe, it, you know, I don't even know, I, I don't feel, it, it doesn't have to be creative, but it's a project that you have had in your mind for a while and you are shooting it to the moon. Good for you. Good for you, uh, Leo. I love the Nine of Cups. Expressing your talent. Dreaming big turning those visions into reality, those dreams into reality. Maybe you want to open a shelter for animals. I don't know why I'm saying that. Maybe you want to help kids. Maybe you want to open that art center or you want to work in that art center. I don't know why I'm saying all that. Maybe you want to, that job overseas. Maybe you want to, right? Whatever it is you want to do. Maybe you want to become a chef. Um, it is that dream come true, but not, not in a snap of a finger, not in that way, even though you have the magician in a very thoughtful way, in a very thought out way, because that is something you've had in the back of your mind or in the bottom of your drawer for a while. All right. We have the repeat of the high priestess, this yes, and inch by inch you're making it happen. And this does require more knowledge. It requires to learn more or to access information or to access people that have more information or that have more knowledge that can teach you or you are opening up to a whole new community or group of people or even just one person with uh, more knowledge that can sort of, you know, um, open up your awareness and your clarity on the situation to be able to work on it and develop it in a different way. Push forward, Leo. This is a really, really interesting um, energy here where you're, you're finally freeing yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nine of Wands, love my Nine of Wands, freaked out but persevering, right? Because all of a sudden it's yours. All of a sudden you're the boss or you're your own boss. And if 
someone has complained. I, I don't know why I'm saying this again, but I feel like if we keep complaining, and I say we as a collective, if we keep complaining that it's not for us or we don't agree with the boss or we don't like the decisions that are made or we don't like the dynamic or we're not getting the responsibilities we want or they don't trust us to right to give us a promotion or whatever whatever the situation is if we won't if we don't connect then we have to go to our own energies to develop our own energies now is it simple no and and does it require a lot of a lot of stamina and patience and knowledge and energy yes because if we want to become our own boss or if we want to develop our own project it is us and ourselves right me myself and i and and that requires a lot of a lot of energy and we can't blame anybody right we can only blame ourselves if it doesn't work out or only blame ourselves if it's if it's not interesting or we're not working with the right people, we can only blame ourselves. So that's a double-edged sword. But if it happens and it's successful, it really feels like it's the moon and we're shooting for the stars. So here we are with the Page of Wands, all new. You're having, you have this new energy. It really is a renewed energy, a fantastic renewed energy freaked out but you're working with other people now when i say you're independent or you're developing your own idea or it's your creative mode it doesn't mean you're working all by yourself but you're the one calling the shots so either you're leading a team or you're the one pitching the idea and then you know there are people evolving around that it's you're the source or you're the roots of the project or the idea step by step don't push it allow it all to come in with the, with temperance allow it all to come in right it's double the high priestess it's now you know it's really time to take a moment to tune into your intuition so if you're looking for answers or you, you you know the energy is coming in and you're on the you're on the outset of this new path to you know step into your new career path or your new energies um the answers and you're waiting for answers the answers will come within right connect with your intuition and like i said if you're starting your 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 dream project or your dream idea you're the one that is going to find the answers right we're not expecting from anybody else we can't blame anybody else it's within so trust your intuition right now um it is providing you with useful information on how to fix issues or how to move forward so embrace your connection to others embrace your connection to compassion to empathy to your inner wisdom feel rather than think right collaborate rather than compete again i think you're moving out of a situation with a lot of competition and you don't want to deal with that so now you're entering a zone of collaboration create rather than destroy right trust your energy be proud of your ability to nurture a certain sense of trust and empathize instead of sort of hiding it away. This is your time to shine. This is your time to create, Leo. All right, here we go. Let's see if there's one last message for the, for the road. Leo's weekly money and career, August 28th to September 3rd. I cannot believe we are entering September. Comment down below, Leos, or just put a heart if you don't wish to share your journey on these platforms. Not everybody wants to. It is back to school for some parts of the world, so happy back to school to everyone that is part of it. Eight of Cups. Let's see if there are a couple more cards that want to come out. I feel like this Eight of Cups has come up that much. King of Cups, all about emotions. 
Ten of Pentacles, beautiful. Money is coming in. The Hangman, yep, different path. And the Tower. I thought it was going to be Magician, but it's the Tower. So here we are in you being very clear on the shift, aware of the shift, aware that these are going to be different emotions and different people to to deal with. It's something, um, you know, you're, you're going to have or you have a whole new perspective on, on this career or on this choice. This really feels like a different choice, but your choice. You're leaving something that no longer served you between the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups. And it's about you um, allowing something new to come in and surrendering to the opportunity to um, reevaluate where you stand. And now it's new, it's emerging. You are deciding to put it on the forefront. You are deciding to finally make this idea reality. So allow it to come in. And I think it's a different situation. I think it's different than what you were doing before with this hangman. It's, um, it's different than your usual routine. So take time out. Take time out of your routine to sort of rethink everything because it's, it's a whole new way of working. I love this. Comment down below. Let me know what this is all about, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one, again, for sharing your energies. That is how I push forward in my reading. So please comment down below or just put a heart if you don't want to comment. Have a great week, Leos. Take care. Bye-bye.